that which has four padas in mandukya also there is a discussion four padas elsewhere also the padas which are discussed in purusha sukta also padas are mentioned these are brahma lingas so you cannot say says the siddhant it is a purva pakshi that there is abhav of brahma linga there isn't abhav of brahma linga there is sadbhav of brahma linga here also thereby चरणाभिधाना पादाभिधान बिकॉज अभिधान देर इज अ मेन्शन ऑफ पादास देर फोर ज्योति ही मीन्स ब्रह्म पादश्रवणाथ ज्योतिश्चरणाभिधान मीन्स ज्योति ज्योति ईज ब्रह्म वाय चरण तस्या चरणाभिधान पादाभिधान पादश्रवणाथ अत्र पूर्वपक्षे कौक्षे ज्योतिषी आदित्यादि दृष्टिया उपास्ति ही सो इन पूर्व पक्ष पूर्व पक्षी से कौक्षे कौक्षे कौक्षय मीन्स दि जठरा जठराग्नि दि डाइजेस्टिव फायर विच इट सेल्फ इज कंसिडर्ड एज अग्नि फॉर कर्म ऑल्सो एंड उपासना ऑल्सो so whenever one takes food then it is also considered as an aahuti for prana for vaishvanara vaishvanara agni which is there in the stomach so purushe in the purusha kaukshaye purushe in an individual in the so kaukshaya is tadhita with kaukshaya so kaukshaya sambandhi which is the digestive fire jyotishi adityaadi drishtya upasti in ज्योतिषि ज्योतिषि इन दि सूर्य मंडल ऑल्सो आदित्यादि दृष्टिया उपास्थि उपास्थि इज उपासना सो उपासना इन बोथ केसेस देर इज उपासना इन दि सिद्धांति पक्ष ऑल्सो दिस इज एन उपासना अथ यद परो दिवो ज्योतिर्दीप्य विश्वत पृष्ठेश इत्यादि दिस मंत्र फ्रॉम छांदोग्य इज एन उपासना Siddhanti agrees. However, what is the drishti in the upasana? What is the upasya there? In the pura paksha, aditya where aditya is mentioned, aditya whether jiva is mentioned, jiva. I mean, purusha is mentioned, pur purusha. In an individual, if the upasana is talked about, then he says that it is the jiva who is the upasya. With aditya, he says so. Oh, aditya is upasa because jyoti of aditya aditya is mentioned. Surya jyoti, the luster of surya or the teja, the heat of surya that is the upasya therefore surya himself is upasya this is the purva paksha siddhante brahma drishtya iti phala bheda however siddhanti says that the phala of this mimamsa of the vishaya mantras upanishad vakyas is brahma is the real upasya there whether it is in an individual or in surya mandala etc सो विषय वाक्य स्कूटेड नेक्स्ट छांदोग्ये श्रूयते अथ यद अत परो दिवो ज्योतिर्दीप्य एंटायर वाक्य इज नॉट कूटेड विच इज अथ यद अत परो दिवो ज्योतिर्दीप्य विश्वत पृष्ठेशु सर्वत पृष्ठेशु अनुत्तमेशु उत्तमेशु लोकेशु इदम वाव तद यद इदम अस्मिन् अंत पुरुषे ज्योति अंत अस्मिन् अंत पुषे ज्योति दैट ज्योति इज बीइंग टॉक्ड अबाउट विच इज विश्वत पृष्ठेशु विश्वत पृष्ठेशु देन सर्वत पृष्ठेशु अनुत्तमेशु उत्तमेशु लोकेशु विच इज देर एव्रीवेर इन दि लोका सर्वत इट इज व्याप्य तत्व व्यापक तत्व so all of those what is being talked about there is brahma so it is brahma which is upasya as per the siddhanti now this jyoti shabda which has been used that is upasya i mean the upasana is on that jyoti therefore this purva pakshi is arguing that the jyoti means jyoti you don't extend it to brahma now so tatra kim jyotish shabdena adityadikam tejah abhijiyate because jyoti hi 
तेज आर दीज वर्ड्स आर लोडेड वर्ड्स दे कैन मीन द लस्टर दे कैन मीन दीट नाउ ज्योतिष शब्द शब्द न वॉट इज मेन्ट विद दिस ज्योतिर्दीप्य विश्वत पृष्ठेशु सर्वत पृष्ठेशु ज्योतिर्दीप्य एंडिंग विथ वॉट इन दैट पुषे ज्योति ऑलसो दीप्य लोकेशु उत्तमेशु अनुत्तमेशु अनुत्तम हेज दी मीनिंग ऑफ उत्तम ऑफ उत्तम सो उत्तम अमोग उत्तम इज कॉल्ड एज अनुत्तम देर भगवान भाष्यकार से इज दैट अनुत्तम शुड नॉट बी कन्सिडर्ड एज नंज विथ उत्तम इट इज नॉट लोअर लोका इट इज हायर देन दि हायर लोका देर ऑलसो दैट ज्योति विच शाइन्स इन पृष्ठेश बियॉन्ड दैट बियॉन्ड दोज ऑल्सो सो पृष्ठेशु देर हेज द सेंस ऑफ बियॉन्ड सो इट इज बियॉन्ड ऑल ऑफ दीज दैट वॉट इज दैट ज्योति दैट हेज टू बी ब्रह्म से इज भगवान भाष्यकार आदि सो त्र कि ज्योतिष शब्द न आदिक तेज अभिधीयते वॉट इज मेन्ट इज दैट तेज विद इन दि सूर्य और विद इन दि जठराग्नि ऑफ दि पुरुष दि जीव इंडिविजुअल और दि तेज इन दि लोकास दि लस्टर इन दि लोकास दि हीट इन दि लोकास दैट इज मेन्ट लिटरली द ज्योतिष शब्द वॉट एवर द मीनिंग इज देर उत ब्रह्म संशय विषय वेन देर इज अ डाउट लाइक दिस बिकॉज पूर्व पक्षी इज क्लीविंग ज्योतिष शब्द मीन ज्योति वेर एज सिद्धांति से इज द इट इज ब्रह्म आदिदिक पूर्व पक्ष आदि जीव ज्योति ऑल दीज आर मेन्ट बाय दिव ज्योति वर्ड से पूर्व पक्षी सिद्धांत अस्तु दिवो ज्योति सिद्धांति से दिवो ज्योति देर इज अदर मंत्र दिवो ज्योति इन दि इन दिस दिवो ज्योति इट सेल्फ गिव्स अ देर इज अ प्रत्यभिज्ञ दिस दिवो ज्योति इन दि छांदोग्य थ्री थर्टीन सेवेन वाक्य लीड्स टू अ प्रत्यभिज्ञ वॉट इज दैट प्रत्यभिज्ञ एज टू दैट ज्योति इज यूज एलसवेर ऑलसो द दिव दिव हियर दट दिव ऑलसो समथिंग इज मेन्शन इन अदर मंत्र सो देर इज अ प्रत्यभिज्ञ दिस इज नॉट स्मृति सी देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्मृति स्मरण मेमरी सम रिकलेक्शन एंड प्रत्यभिज्ञ प्रत्यभिज्ञ इज लाइक सोयम देवदत्त That Devadatta I saw in a particular desha in a particular time is the same one who I am seeing now in this desha and this kala. So that desha, that kala, Vishistha Devadatta is the same. That kala, that desha, that kala, Vishistha Devadatta. That is Pratyabhijna. So if this Divo Jyoti he reminds of some Divi Jyoti he beyond that, the, see Div. Jyuloka, Jyu, Divaha is this Jyuloka. Divo Jyoti is the Jyoti in the Swarga. By Jyu, which declines as Divaha in Panchami and Divi in Saptami, that Jyu Shabda, Jyu is a Prati Padika means Swarga Loka, Swarga. So beyond that Swarga, ityadi these kind of mentions which are there now, Divaha Jyoti he reminds one not only by Smarana but Pratyabhijna, it brings the same kind of understanding. as this jyoti is that which is talked about in the jyuloka and from this jyuloka beyond that prishteshu so divaha pratyabhijna is there it is the same jyoti which is talked about in purusha sukta or elsewhere in the 3126 mantra so the next mantra is a pratyabhijna mantra which is quoted this 3126 mantra and 3137 when you reach 3137 then what the 3126 talked about that is applicable here because there is a pratyabhijna of other mantras as well charanabhidhanat so he says siddhantastu divo jyotih iti jyotish shabdena With the Jyoti Shabda, Jyoti He, that Shabda, Brahmeva Grihate, why Kutaha Charana Vidhanat? Because there is a mention of Charanas of that Jyoti, Jyoti Vakyat Puro Vakye. Just before that, the Vakya which went ahead, went by earlier, 
देर वॉट वॉज सेट पादोस्य सर्वा भूतानि त्रिपाद श्याम रतन दिवी दट दिवी दिवी इन दि दिवलोक देर ज्योति ही वॉट इज दट पाद अस्य सर्वा भूतानि There is one pad out of the four, because tripad asya amrutam divi tripad tripad is the group of three. So group of three feet are amruta divi. So sarva bhuta ni all the bhutas in any loka really. In any loka sarva bhuta ni because sarva bhuta ni are not necessarily in this loka. and by bhuta you can take living beings also and bhuta as pancha mahabhuta is also therefore all the bhuta bhautika shrishti the entire prapancha jagat including all the living beings are meant by sarva bhutani now padah asya padah one single padah is literally it means a foot but it is a quarter you can take it as a quarter also or by personification of the uh, you know virat purusha you can say it is a, a foot also however you understand it is one part part of that which cannot be having parts because purna tattva however what is mentioned is pada asya sarva bhutani one pada is includes everything एंड त्रिपाद अस्य त्रिपाद व्हाट अबाउट द अस्य त्रिपाद अस्य पादः सर्वभूतानि अस्य त्रिपाद अमृतं दिवि दिवि एंड अमृतम अमृतम इज एक्चुअली व्हाट इट्स इमोर्टल मींस लिमिटलेस सो इट रिमाइंड्स यू ऑफ हैज अ प्रत्यय बिंदु ऑफ दैट पूर्णमद पूर्णमिदम मंत्र एज़ वेल इन पुरुष सूक्त आल्सो व्हाट हैज बीन सेड अत्यतिष्ठत दशांगुलम सो हाउ मच एवर यू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्ल्ड That tattva Brahma is ten fingers beyond. Ten fingers is not really a literal measure. Just like this tripad is not a literal measure. Amrutam gives it away. The meaning of tripad is not really three padas or anything like that. Really, when you analyze further, so it is a part of a partless, which is amruta, which is limitless. Ananta tattva is indicated there. That can't be jyoti hi literally. That can't be teja hi literally. That can cannot be limited to aditya, surya mandala, or within a individual jiva purusha. But the he too here, we went ahead and analyze as per you know other Upanishads as to how this analysis really is when you look at such mantras. However, here what is he too? Jyoti hi Brahma eva charana vidhana because the charana padas are heard there in the mantra. इति चतुष्पात्व अभिदानात चतुष चतुष्पात्वस्य दैट देयर आर फोर पादास फोर चरणास टू दिस ज्योति ही अभिदाना दैट इज ब्रह्म अतः ब्रह्म एव ज्योतिष शब्दितम इत्यतः देयरफॉर व्हाट इज मेंट इज ब्रह्म बाय ज्योति ही नॉट ज्योति ही लिटरली नॉट तेज हा नॉट लिमिटेड एनीवेयर नाउ पूर्व पक्षी सेज Okay, this is what you see there, as in this eka pada is samast brahmanda, then tripad amruta rupa. That is the reason that jyoti he cannot be jyoti literally because jyoti does not have padas. Nowhere is pada literally there for jyoti, or even by extended meaning, it is there not for literal jyoti. Because jyoti is a prakasha or teja. If you understand as teja or prakasha, it cannot have padas. Brahma can have padas because it is manifest in various ways. So how much of Brahma is manifest? Is entire Brahma manifest? Then there is no Brahma. So elsewhere there is a discussion like this. Purva Pakshi would say, has Brahma completely manifested itself? Because they are thinking from Sankhya perspective as Parinama Vadis. Even if we say hypothetically. अभ्युपगम वादा वी एक्सेप्ट हाइपोथेटिकली दैट एंटायर ब्रह्म हैज बी मैनिफेस्ट एज दिस प्रपंच देयर वी देयर वुड बी नो दोषा व्हिच द पूर्व पक्ष इज पॉइंटेड आउट दैट देयर इज नो ब्रह्म नाउ बिकॉज़ इट हैज चेंज बिकॉज़ देयर इज नो रियल चेंज इट इज विवर्त वादा विवर्त कारण ब्रह्म इज विवर्त कारण सो इवन द एंटायर ब्रह्म इज मैनिफेस्ट एज प्रपंच स्टिल ब्रह्म वुड रिमेन एज ब्रह्म अनअफेक्टेड बिकॉज़ 
Jagat would be just a vision. This is the real argument underlying in all, you know, all uh, Shruti Vakyas where Brahma is said to be Karana. Sapna was Shruti. And the Prapancha is Raju Sarpavat. So that is how the final Siddhanta would be. But we accept Parinama in Maya because Nirguna Brahma cannot have any Parinama and Parinama is seen. People talk about Parinama. Looking at Karya, they extend it to Karana also. Looking at Karya, which is also Karana to other Karya in the Prapancha, they extend it and to explain to them, we say yes, there is some Parinama, but that Parinama is not in Brahma. It is in that Brahma which has Maya and in that Brahma also it is in Maya, it is not in Brahma. Anyway, that's an aside. Now this Jyotish Shabda is Brahma due to Padas being heard in Shruti. Now Pura Pakshi brings up another objection here. Nanu Gayatri Vaidam Sarvam. There is other mantra. He says in that Chandogya 12th section of the third chapter where you quoted the sixth mantra. You quoted the sixth mantra which has just gone by where Pada is talked about. He says this section is Gayatri section. Nanu Gayatri Vaidam Sarvam. That's how the 3.12.1 started. You are quoting 3.12.6 as Jyoti having Pada. Therefore, it should mean Brahma in 3.12.7 also. So, in the uh, sorry, 3.13.7 also. So, this cross check whether it is 3.12. Yeah, so th whatever is the mantra, they, they, they have gone earlier. So, I just looked up and I found something. But these, uh, some mantras are quoted, they are not literal, there are some uh, paraphrasing, there is some part quoted from some other section and there is another part elsewhere. This is fine, but uh, I am not really uh, exactly sure of the number here. But let's assume that it is 12, 312, it is, it is, here it is 313, 7. It is, there is one section difference, entire section. Now the Pura Bhakshi says the section that you have quoted, the section the mantra in the section that you have quoted, that section began, you have quoted sixth mantra, but the first mantra began, I am using the word mantra uh, in a rudi artha, okay? It is not uh, the literal meaning as taken in Purva Mimamsa, because we are used to talking about Veda, Veda Vakyas as mantras, so I am taking that rudi artha. Applicable everywhere, unless I give a technical meaning of mantra, as per the Purva Mimamsa, uh, or when we divide the section as mantra, brahmana and aranyaka, till then mantra is applicable as, you know, as rudi artha for everything that is in the Vedas. In Bhashya somewhere you see words like uh, uh, stotram or uh, shloka. So these words are used, stotra, uh, where these mantras or vakyas are in stuti, there the word stotra is used and in uh, Upanishad, in Taitri Upanishad for, uh, for example, there is a word shloka used for mantra. But in Rudi Artha, in Laukika Prayoga, Mantra is something that is used for everything in the Vedas and Shloka should, should be used for Smriti Ityadi. So Shloka is the word which is not really used for, uh, for Veda Vakyas. So in that sense, I am using the word Mantra because I am used to it. Uh, I am just making, a, I, am, I am buffering it. So Nanu Gayatriva Idam Sarvam. That is the beginning in the section there. Iti Gayatra Khyat Chandasaha Prakrutatva. That is the context. Every time you the Siddhanti brings up an argument that analysis has to be in the context, contextual. And now you are going beyond the context. You are not looking at the context. The context is Gayatri Upasana there. Gayatri Vai Idam Sarvam. Gayatri Vai. Vai here is Vai. Indeed, Gayatri is all this. So, Gayatri is the Chandas. The Chandas, Gayatri Chandaha is what is meant there. In your Gayatri Mantra also, you have Gayatri Chandaha or Nichrit Gayatri. However, you know, people have it in difference of opinion there as to or in uh, Argya you use, you use a different uh, Chandas and in Japa you use a different Chandas. So, now that Gayatri Vai Idam Sarvam Gayatri, all this is Gayatri, that is the context Prakrutatvat, Gayatri is the name, Akhya, Gayatri, 
आख्या तत्छंद गायत्री आख्या आख्यम गायत्री आख्यम सो गायत्री आख्या छंद इज देर छंद इज देर तस्य प्रकृत दैट इज दॉन्टेक्स दैट बींग दि कॉन्टेक्स तस्व उपास्य दैट छंद गायत्री छंद इज उपास्य देर यू के नॉट से ब्रह्म इज उपास्य न अन्य आशंक्या न अन्य से न अन्य से ब्रह्मण वॉट एवर यू आर सेंग एक्सटेडिंग टू ब्रह्म दैट के नॉट बी दि केस बिकॉज हियर देन वॉट विल हैपन पूर्व पक्षी इज सेंग दैट दि पादा विच आर टॉक्ट अबाउट दे आर नॉट एप्लीकेबल टू इंटरप्रिटेशन दे आर नॉट ओपन टू इंटरप्रिटेशन एज पादाज ऑफ ब्रह्म दीज पादाज आर ऑफ गायत्री देन इन दैट केस बिकॉज दैट इज द कॉन्टेक्स इति आशंक्या रेजिंग दिस डाउट दे नेक्स्ट सूत्र इज एन आंसर टू दैट छंदो विधान तथा चेतोर्पण निगदा तथा हि दर्शन छंदो विधान चेन्न तथा चेतोर्पण निगदा तथा हि दर्शन सो सिद्धांति से छंदो विधान अर्यर चरणा विधान वॉज द एंसर गिवन बिकॉज ऑफ मेन्शन ऑफ चरण ज्योति मीन्स ब्रह्म नाव पूर्व पक्षी से छंदो विधान छंदस छंदस अभिधान श्रवण देर इज अ मेन्शन सिंस देर इज अ मेन्शन ऑफ छंद गायत्री छंद देर फोर न इति चेत न मीन्स वॉट न ब्रह्म दिस पाद एंड दि उपासना ड्यू टू द पाद मेन्शन दि उपासना इज ऑफ ब्रह्म दैट इज नॉट ट्रू न तथा सो छंद अभिधान गायत्री उपास्ति गायत्री इज उपास्य गायत्री उपासना इट इज देर फोर वॉट न देन देर फोर युअर ब्रह्म दैट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट इज नॉट उपास्य न इति चेत न ब्रह्म उपास्यम इति चेत न तथा सिद्धांति से सो इति चेत अपतिल इति चेत इट इज पूर्व पक्ष सिद्धांति से न तथा इट इज नॉट सो वाय हेतु इज गिवन चेतोर्पण निगदा निगदा श्रवण बिकॉज ऑफ श्रवण ऑफ वॉट चेतसा अर्पण से निगदा चेतोर्पण निगदा इज वन वर्ड सो दि वर्ड्स आर छंदो विधान न इति चेत न तथा न तथा चेतोर्पण निगदा तथा हि दर्शन तथा एंड हि सेपरेट दर्शन सो दीज आर दि वर्ड्स आई डेंट डू पदच्छेद हि आर ऑल्सो ज्योति हि वन वर्ड चरणा विधान अनदर वर्ड सो छंदो विधान न इति चेत न तथा सिद्धांति से न तथा इट इज नॉट सो इट इज नॉट गायत्री उपासना देर एंड ड्यू टू दैट यू के नॉट से ब्रह्म इज नॉट उपास्य देर वाय तथा न तथा चेतोर्पण चेतस चेतस इज अंतकरण अंतकरण से अर्पण से निगदा दैट अंतकरण अर्पण अर्पण दि माइंड शुड रिजॉल्व इन टू ब्रह्म यूजिंग गायत्री सो गायत्री इज अ मीन्स गायत्री छंद इज अ मीन्स टू रिजॉल्व दि चेत चेत दि अंतकरण इन टू ब्रह्म इट इज दि मीन्स इट इज नॉट दि एंड गोल ब्रह्म इज दि एंड गोल इट इज दि ब्रह्म इज दि रिजॉल्यूशन ग्राउंड और इन दैट उपासना देर फोर इट इज ब्रह्म उपासना नॉट गायत्री उपासना निगदा श्रवण बिकॉज दैट इज हर्ड देर इन दुति चेतोर्पण से निगदा चेत अर्पण से निगदा तथा ही दर्शन तथा ही दर्शन तथा ही श्रवण तथा ही श्रुति देर इज दर्शन इज देर इज श्रुति सो दैट वील सी इन दि वृत्ति छंदो विधान गायत्री आख्य छंद अभिधान पूर्व पक्षी से छंद अभिधान बिकॉज यू हियर दि छंद देर गायत्री छंद एज दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट इन दि बिगिनिंग ऑफ दैट सेक्शन ट्वेल्थ सेक्शन इन दि थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ छांदो की उपनिषद पूर्ववाक्य इन दि अर्लियर वाक्य वॉट वॉज कोटेड कोटेड अर्लियर टू दि वाक्य विच वॉज कोटेड वॉट यू आर कोटिंग अर्लियर टू दैट दिस इज द सेक्शन 
and what you have quoted is also earlier to what this seventh mantra that you have quoted sixth in another section maybe but it has gone by earlier what you have quoted has gone by earlier puro vakye na brahmana prakrutatvam iti chet so padaha you quoted padas you quoted padas of brahma from the section which belongs to abrahma gayatri chandas there is no brahma in context there there the context is gayatri so you cannot quote the earlier section which is having gayatri as a context and then conclude that brahma has four padas and therefore refute, refute the jyotihi as upasya in the next section so if the pura pakshi proves that the section is gayatri section and gayatri is the upasya then the jyotihi refutation of jyoti being upasya will also fall apart of the siddhanti so the 24th sutra will also go for a toss why because the hetu used here is from the earlier padas in the earlier section which is the context of gayatri so gayatri will become upasya in the earlier context in the next context in the next section in the earlier section the gayatri chandas will become upasya and in the next section where jyoti is upasya and refuted as brahma that will also not stand scrutiny that will fail the test and thereby jyoti will become upasya this is the perspective of the puro pakshi so it is yet no siddhant this is not so that context is not of gayatri kutaha why so tatha chando dwarana tadgate brahmani chetor panasya chitta samadhanasya nigadat abhidanat shravanat finally mini shravanat mention there is a mention which is heard of what chitta samadhana chitor chetor pana is chitta samadhana the antakarana the mind should resolve into this brahma through what chando dwarana gayatri chando dwarana through the gayatri chandas tadgate brahmani the brahma which is sarva vyapaka brahma that brahma tattva which is the support for gayatri chanda also tadgate brahmani unto un that brahma into that brahma the चेतः अर्पण ऑफ दी उपासका शुड टेक प्लेस चित्त समाधान शुड टेक प्लेस इन टू दैट ब्रह्म नॉट इन टू गायत्री छंद देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ रिजोल्यूशन इन टू गायत्री छंदस छंदस इज वॉट इट्स एन अक्षर समूह गायत्री मंत्र इज ऑल्सो अक्षर समूह समूह एंड ऑल दी मंत्र विच हैव गायत्री छंदस दे आर ऑल्सो अक्षर समूह दे आर अ ग्रुप ऑफ लेटर्स one may argue brahma is also group of letters yes nama is group of letters which is mithya we agree siddhanti would say that brahma nama is also mithya but the tattva is not mithya the tattva which makes nama roopa possible roopa for upasaka whether it is seen or the omkara upasana where omkara is a shabda which is upasya not the uh, not the letter not the letter or not the group of letters which are seen or written omkara upasana is on the omkara shabda as it is heard it is the sound which is upasya all that is mithya we agree that all that is mithya but the reality the tattva which makes the shabda possible the upasana possible the group of letters as written possible the form of the gayatri devi which is possible all that this which is possible is due to whatever tattva that is that is a single indivisible tattva that is brahma so tadgate brahmani chetorpanasya chitta samadhanasya chitta samadhana is meaning of chetorpana nigadat means abhidanat due to mention of that then how do you say so tatra drishtanta siddhanti gives an example tathahi darshanam this is the drishtanta tathai darshanam that is how it is seen where where is it seen anyatrapi elsewhere also anyatrapi vikaradwarena etam hiva bhavrucha mahat yukth 
के मीमांसन्ते सिद्धांति कोट्स कई तरह का आरण्य का जैसे मंत्रा देर विशेष एतम ही एव बहुरुचा थ्रू दी रुक बहुरुक मिनी रुक मंत्रास थ्रू मिनी रुक मंत्रास एतम ही एव मीमांसन्ते महत्युक्ते सो महत्युक्ते that that biggest tattva mimamsante this is how the analysis is done so tathai darshanam elsewhere also this is how the analysis is whatever chandas is used whatever rug mantra is used through many rug mantras what is mimam mimamsa vishaya there when you analyze where do you land what is the conclusion there in mimamsa in puro mimamsa also it because upasana can be independent upasana it can be karmagata upasana what what we saw in sama mantra earlier as to the omkara which is upasya or what we saw earlier as prastava in the prastava upasana we had seen that sorry i went a lot long back so this uh, something was quoted there ya yeah, akasha and uh, sorry akasha and prana so in the both of the sections one after the other they occur there uh, this asya lokasya kagati ityadi there what was quoted is this uh, prastava here phalam tu purva pakshe prana drushtya prastava upasya prastava prastava is one part of that panchabhaktika upasana udghita upasana so udghita buddhi which where it should be so there the prastava is the first that is uttered and then what is the devata there that was the inquiry made there in that analysis also mimamsa which is done that is karmagat upasana so within the part of a karma is within a part of within the karma itself a part of karma is this upasana it cannot be taken out separately and just mere upasana should not be done karma should be done mere upasana should not be done but there are some independent upasanas also wherever you analyze the karma what karma is related to which karma the anga angi bhava analysis which is done by श्रुतिलिंग सामख्य इत्यादि सिमिलरली दि उपासना एनालिसिस वेदर इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट और विद इन दि कर्म दिस इज सिमिलर देर फोर दि ऐतरेक ऐतरे आरण्यक मंत्र एनालिसिस इज कोटेड विच इज वेल नोन सी मोस्ट ऑफ दीज एक्सापल आर फ्रॉम पूर्व मीमांसा वाय सो बिकॉज वेदांत इज उत्तर मीमांसा देर इज एन एजम्शन वेन वन इज स्टडिंग दिस उत्तर मीमांसा शास्त्र ब्रह्म सूत्र देर इज एजम्शन दैट वी अंडरस्टैंड एंड वी हैव स्टडीड दी पूर्व मीमांसा शास्त्र देर फोर ऑल दीज आर एज्यूम टू बी प्रसिद्ध वी हैव डिफिकल्टी बिकॉज वी मे नॉट हैव स्टडीड इवन बिट्स एंड पीसेस देर सो दैट इज द डिफिकल्टी इयर सो वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द कॉन्टेक्स देर हवे वर वेन दिस इज कोटेड दि वृत्तिकार वृत्ति मूव ऑन भाष्य ऑल्सो विल मूव ऑन why because there is an assumption that you understand what is quoted we have to really look at what is quoted why it is quoted in what context it is quoted and what is the conclusion drawn by example and extended to the current context however the fact is that this is prasiddha for the purva pakshi this is supposed to be prasiddha etam yeva bahuracha mahatyukte mimam sante and what is the conclusion there if that is mentioned just a mention is sufficient because it will trigger the memory of the purva puksha also who is an astika who has studied all these darshanas therefore it is prasiddha darshan tatahi darshanam means tatahi drishtanta which is given is prasiddha for him you cannot give a prasiddha uh, drishtanta and apply and say that therefore proven in tarka you cannot do that because the example should be prasiddha it, it should be acceptable to both parties or multiple parties being involved multiple parties whoever is involved the drishtanta should be prasiddha so this is supposed to be prasiddha 
for everyone involved including the puro pakshi not only siddhanti etam atmanam pradhane shastre tadanugatam upasate upasate they all meditate upon this uh, bahuvachana upasate the uh, second gana dhatu is declined like this the ekavachana odi upasate so upasate they they meditate upon this is the mimamsa the end result of analysis of this this is darshana drishtanta given there what is the conclusion etam atmanam pradhane shastre this atma this atma pradhane shastre shastra there is has the meaning of uh, mantra shastra not shastra 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 is a weapon literally but here pradhana shastra is pradhana mantra so etam atmanam tadanugatam tadanugatam what is there in that this bahurucha through bahurucha so this is tritya there through this dwara tadgata tadanugata whatever is there which within and which follows seems to follow that within that mantra following that mantra what is there really is that atma so etam atmanam upasate that is the conclusion there in aitareka aranyaka and this need not be puro mimamsa itself elsewhere aranyaka is aitreya extending to aitreya upanishad also it is not mantra bhaga brahmana bhaga aranyaka so it is aranyaka so aranyaka is not mantra bhaga the technical mantra it is not that which is chanted it is not the brahmana bhaga where there is an explanation but this is the aranyaka where more analysis is there and it is upasana mostly upasana pradhana so that section is not upanishad there is no jnana there it is upas upasana what is upasya there that atma so there the analysis is done as to chandas is not or mantra rug mantra is not upasya through the rug mantra through the chandas with is there in the rug mantra as well through that what is upasya atma is upasya iti brahmana upasanam drishyate this atma is brahma now siddhanti makes a jump that atma is brahma because we have concluded we are explaining what we have concluded so atma is brahma not everyone sitting in puro paksha may agree but iti brahmana upasanam drishyate iti darshanam drishtam we are okay by saying atma but atma is what that atma has to be inquired what pradhana pradhane shastre in that what is that atma individual atma cannot be the support tadanugata individual atma cannot be there in the mantra drug mantra individual atma is there in the individual body so atma there has to be brahma so the extension is not by siddhanti's advaita vada itself we will say yes it is advaita it is but then atma word is used in many meanings puro pakshi had also quoted atma can mean pradhana also but atma means brahma here the paramatma here param has to be read there because as samasa you have to see paramatma why because tadanugatam has been mentioned within the mantras what is there it cannot be individual atma it has to be paramatma iti brahmana upasanam drishyate therefore that paramatma is upasya there iti darshanam darshanam means what drishtam it has been seen in the such examples elsewhere anyatra ataha brahma eva purva vakye nirdishtam therefore in the earlier vakya where gayatri is talked about the padas are talked about it is talking about brahma not gayatri itself through gayatri you have to land on brahma the upasaka has to resolve his antakarana into brahma and that brahma being the resolution ground has to be the upasya also because yadyad upasyam tattat tattad chetorpana adishthana it will become the adishthana for the resolution of the antakarana because you cannot be doing upasana on anya vishaya gayatri chandas and have chetorpana the samadhana cheta antakarana samadhana into brahma that is not possible but brahma is the resolution ground therefore upasana has to be also on brahma not on gayatri or chandas 
you use gayatri chandas as a means for example in japa also you pick up any japa mantra what is the final goal of that japa not to get siddhi siddhi is a by product which is actually a stumbling block for samadhi or the for uh, the final goal devata anugraha is possible due to which one may get siddhi also but if you claim that siddhi then you won't get the samadhi or you won't get the samadhana samadhana also has the meaning of samadhi by bhave lut so the chetorpana arpana is also lut there so arpana chetorpana is what this chitta samadhana cheta samadhana or cheta chetas is chitta antakarana not chit chit is consciousness chitta is antakarana so chitta samadhana where will it take place that will be the vishaya for upasana also <coughs> so in japa i was saying in japa also you take you know shi shiva mantra or narayana mantra whatever mantra japa one is taking or bija mantra or without the bija whatever one has adhikara in and initiated into when one is chanting not only should one target the count to increase the count but there is also dhyana prescribed before the japa nyasa ityadi they should be done because then one gets the purna phala purna anugraha even in yoga shastra whatever be your vishaya in fact uh, in uh, yoga sutras patanjali maharshi says that he gives some examples of on what to do dhyana on because upasana is dhyana what to do dhyana on that is all pramana yoga shastra should not be discarded wholesale it is all pramana the dvaita conclusion there the dvaita conclusion not in the sutras by those who follow the sutras there is a dvaita conclusion that conclusion is refuted in fact in sampradaya in orthodoxy also it is accepted that there may have been a vivarana on vyasa bhashya on yoga sutra so yoga sutra has vyasa bhashya so why did vyasacharya write uh, uh, who we respect we say in fact vyasacharya is the author of brahma sutras why did he write a bhashya on yoga sutras if yoga sutras are not pramana it's a waste of uh, time and effort in sampradaya it is accepted that there may have been a vritti by adi shankaracharya if not adi shankaracharya some other there it is open to discussion there but there is a vivarana which is advaita advaita explanation of the vyasa bhashya on yoga sutras which is seen as dvaita grantha because it is practice of sankhya darshana which is dvaita sankhya is dvaita there is no doubt about it yoga is seen as dvaita as well as some parts of it are also seen as advaita by many of them who try to do samanvaya however the ashtanga yoga bhagwan bhashyakar also accepts that in bhashya also you see ashtanga yoga and yoga shastra quoted as pramana for what it's a different matter but it is a pramana <coughs> we don't take everything as idam itham but it is all useful as sadhana at least if at worst you should say it is acceptable as sadhana but in upasana when you are doing upasana as a karma kandi or as a jnana kandi where upanishad upanishad have some upasanas that is the ones that you are following then yoga shastra is pramana there for analysis of what kind of dhyana ashtanga so once you are following that because without that there won't be phala there won't be chitta shuddhi also up to that extent there will be chitta shuddhi if one gives up everything if one does not follow it you know word to word then also there will be chitta shuddhi but then for complete anugraha and chitta shuddhi one should follow as much as possible the way it is to be followed with nyasa dhyana ityadi now that dhyana when one is doing then in the antaranga sadhana there leading to dharana dhyana samadhi the last three padas they will be denied as in samadhi into the vishaya of upasana will be denied if one hankers after siddhis which are also resultant of those 
this is said in the yoga shastra also the third pada the third pada the third chapter in yoga shastra is vibhuti pada that vibhuti pada talks about all sorts of siddhis what should do one do for some sort of siddhis but the upasya vishaya which are discussed there bhagwan panini says uh, sorry patanjali maharshi says there as to examples giving examples ishvara guru uh, you know it can be some seen vishaya or it can be some heard vishaya then at the end he says or anything can be vishaya he says anything extensible to anything and everything where the siddhi will be resultant if one follows the triad of dharana dhyana samadhi and if one gives up the siddhi itself one denies even if siddhi comes he says i don't want it then one will get the samadhi which is intended for the chitta to resolve in such a manner that it will lead one to the what is in vedanta what is called as nirvikalpaka samadhi and in yoga shastra there is a different word used but anyway those differences whether they are there or not that is not the topic here but what we are interested in is that vishaya unto which the chitta resolves that has to be the upasya and the upasya is the one vishaya into which there will be resolution of the upasaka upasakas antakarana where the the triad the triputi becomes one triputi becomes one into the vishaya not into the upasaka not into the the uh, the uh, kriya of upasana upasana itself but the upasya vishaya so upasaka upasya and upasana this triad which is continuing the triputi the resolution will finally be into the upasya vishaya and since brahma is the resolution ground for the upasana which is discussed in all these sections in chandogya therefore brahma is the upasya whatever be the context there you can bring in the context and say gayatri is the opening yes it is the opening we don't disagree but it will become the dwara means to the vishaya which is upasya and the final resolution ground so with that argument siddhanti concludes as to iti brahmana upasanam drishyate iti darshanam that drishtam darshanam tathai darshanam means tathai drishtam it is seen elsewhere also what is the upasana there upasya vishaya that upasya vishaya is brahma therefore upasana is brahmo upasana brahma eva ityatah that be darshana being the example whereby the hetu is established chetorpana nigadat that hetu is established by this drishtanta ityatah therefore what is if conclusion of this chandogya set of sections also brahma eva puro vakya nirdishtam what is meant in the puro vakya by padas brahma itself na chanda iti siddham and it is not the gayatri chandas which is the opening mantra quoted by the puro pakshi it is siddham it is established therefore the earlier jyoti hi brahma eva will also be will also not be compromised so that holds moving further itascha gayatri vakye brahma eva pratipadyam ityah due to this reason also in the gayatri vakya the section that has quoted 3.12 section in chandogya and 3.13 etc there but 3.12 is the gayatri section as quoted by the puro pakshi 3.12.1 of chandogya this is the further reason this is further reason as to why gayatri vakya in that gayatri vakya also that you are quoting there brahma is the one which is revealed there प्रतिपाद्यम सिंगल वर्ड हेतु च एवं च एवं इन दिस मैनर एंड इट इज इन दिस मैनर द वे वी हैव एनलाइज इट इज एक्सैक्टली इन दिस मैनर other hetu is given what is the hetu as in gayatri vakye brahmeva pratipadyam brahmeva upasyam in the next section also padas also talk about brahma 
एंड इन ज्योति वाक्य आल्सो जो ज्योतिर वाक्य आल्सो ब्रह्मा विल बी द उपास्य वाई सो भूता भूता दी पाद व्यपदेशो उपपत्ते हे बिकॉज़ ऑफ उपपत्ति ही बिकॉज़ ऑफ टेनेबिलिटी लॉजिकलिटी इट विल बी लॉजिकल बिकॉज़ इट इज लॉजिकल व्हाट इज लॉजिकल उपदेश दैट द टीचिंग व्यपदेश उपदेश व्यपदेश आर इंटरचेंजेबल व्यपदेश because of this teaching vyapadesha upapatti of vyapadesha of what teaching of what what is taught there vyapadesha bhutaadi paada so bhutaadi paada is talked about what is that bhutaadi paada one paada is all bhutas but there is a mention of bhutaadi paada in gayatri section also this one paada is सर्वाभूतानि इज इन दी ज्योतिर्वाक्य जस्ट जस्ट बिफोर ज्योतिर्वाक्य इन दी सिक्स सेक्शन कोटेड थ्री डॉट ट्वेल्व डॉट सिक्स देर द एनालिसिस वॉज डन एज टू वन पाद इंक्लूड्स ऑल समि जगत समि जगत एंड दी थ्री पाद आर अमृतम दिवी दे आर नॉट सीन दे आर नॉट ऑब्जेक्टिफाइड दे आर नॉट मैनिफेस्ट सो दे आर ब्रह्म दे मीन ब्रह्म पाद now there is a pada mention in the gayatri section also the chandogya 3.12.1 beginning there what was quoted by the purva pakshi siddhanti saying your quotation also where you talk about gayatri chandas as the context we will disprove that also so since you have quoted that we will tell you what is the context there really so that therefore this sutra bhuta prithvi sharira hridayaihi this bhutaadi paada the discussion of one paada of gayatri where bhutaadi are mentioned what is that adi in bhuta bhuta prithvi sharira hridayaihi chatushpada gayatri iti vyapadeshasya brahmanye upapatte he so siddhanti says there chatushpada gayatri gayatri strilinga is chatushpada has four paadas चतुष्पथ देर आर फोर पादास टू दिस गायत्री इति व्यपदेश ब्रह्मणी एव उपपत्ते वॉट वी हेव सेट दैट पादास द ज्योति ही इज ब्रह्म देर ज्योति इज नॉट उपास्य लिटरली ब्रह्म इज उपास्य बिकॉज इन दी अर्लियर सेक्शन पादास वेर टॉक्ड अबाउट पादास आर नॉट देर फॉर ज्योति दे आर देर फॉर ब्रह्म सिमिलरली हियर दि छंदस विच इज quoted by you in the earlier to that section the section that i quoted you quoted earlier to that so the purva pakshi has quoted gayatri section which is said to be chatushpada that gayatri chandas and chandas cannot have these four padas how so here the meaning is taken as feet iti vyapadeshasya brahmanye upapatte he the quarters not quarters here but the feet if you look at it that pada chatushpad the four parts there as four feet iti vyapadesha that teaching is applicable only to brahma brahmani eva upapatte tasya vyapadeshasya nahi akshara sannivesha roopa gayatriha bhutaadi pada vyapadesha now you look at it parts you take it as parts also pada there is no insistence that it should be feet because you will in see in literal translations feet there are some literal translations they will take it as feet but those who have studied mandukya they will end up translating in english as quarters because there is a example given of a coin however you know in various contexts it can be taken in various ways you can personify and take it as feet you can take for explanation uh, you can take it as you know uh, the three quarters and the fourth quarter makes a coin so quarter as in a quarter of a coin so that that can be the interpretation of pada so in many places they are handled differently what is our interest that the pada should not be applicable to gayatri but it is applicable to brahma all the way because brahma is seen in as having four quarters in uh, three avasthas and the fourth avastha so avastha tre pariksha also there we use padas to explain the uh, the samasti and vyasti also in various avasthas we use that now nahi akshara sannivesh roopa gayatriya because what is this pada said to be if you say okay gayatri can have padas okay gayatri can have padas if you say meaning quarters 
because uh, akshara samuha can be divided if that is insisted by the purva pakshi what is said there is bhuta prithvi sharira hrudaye hrudayaihi chatushpada gayatri so bhuta prithvi sharira and hrudaya these are the four padas now gayatri which is chandas cannot have bhuta as pada if you say one part is bhuta one part it has maybe we'll agree let's say chandas because we have said akshara samuha if it is akshara samuha then aksharas can have akshara samuha can have parts maybe you cannot cut a, cut one akshara but you can cut 32 into four divisions let's say 30 32 aksharas are there letters are there in gayatri you can divide them into four four parts and if you say equal four parts then you can say you know 8 into 4 is 32 there so eight aksharas are there in each pada one may say so in purva paksha but what is that pada bhuta is one pada not letters prithvi is another pada sharira is another pada hridaya is another pada so if you see that is what is discussed there then nahi akshara sannivesh roopa gayatriya that uh, gayatri which is samuha vakshara of letters भूतादि पाद व्यपदेश न संभवति दि भूतादि पाद व्यपदेश न विल गो देयर न संभवति इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल दैट गायत्री व्हिच इज अक्षर समूह समूह ग्रुप ऑफ लेटर्स दैट इटसेल्फ इज भूत एज भूत भौतिक और भूत एज लिविंग बीइंग्स एंड पृथ्वी एज वन महाभूत और पृथ्वी लोक शरीर एंड हृदय you cannot have such kind of group of letters because bhuta prithvi sharira and hrudaya are not letters they are being talked about as padartha not pada as artha bhuta padartha prithvi padartha sharira padartha hrudaya padartha this is what is mentioned there as padas of gayatri gayatri cannot have that set of four as padas अतः गायत्री वाक्य ब्रह्मेव प्रतिपाद्यम बिकॉज ब्रह्म मैनिफेस्ट एज भूत ऑल्सो पृथ्वी आदि भूत भौतिक सृष्टि दैट टेक्स प्लेस इज ऑल्सो फ्रॉम ब्रह्म शरीर इज मैनिफेस्ट फ्रॉम ब्रह्म हृदय इज मैनिफेस्ट फ्रॉम ब्रह्म वेदर इट इज यू नो दी सूक्ष्म शरीर एक्सटेंडिंग टू सूक्ष्म शरीर इंद्रिया एट्सेट्रा और टेक फिजिकल ऑल्सो स्थूल stool sharira all that is manifestation of brahma therefore what happens is that atah gayatri vakye brahme pratipadyam iti it is what is revealed there in interpretation in mimamsa you should land on brahma not on gayatri chandas and in jyoti jyotir vakya also what is revealed is brahma in mimamsa what you land on is brahma not as see pratipadyam was pratipadyam because vidya has to be there what is revealed finally one should not hold on to the jnana only because in karma and upasana karma vidya, karma vidya and upasana vidya is not sufficient to get the phala one has to do karma based on that vidya one has to do upasana based on that vidya so here pratipadyam means revealed but not revealed the way in jnana kanda it is revealed jnana kanda proper so gayatri vakye brahma which is pratipadyam that brahma is upasya brahma not nya brahma where one you know knows that it has four padas and just sits there no one has to do upasana so jyotir vakye dhu sambandha tadeva pratyavijnayate iti siddham there is a pratyavijnya there is a pratyavijnya which i mentioned it is not mere smarana that brahma which is revealed in gayatri vakya is the same brahma which is revealed in jyotir vakya which is revealed elsewhere also as jagat karana that is a pratyavijnya there it is that brahma paramatma saguna brahma nirguna brahma finally but it is that brahma which is the topic of discussion in the sutra taking each and individual each and every vishaya mantras from upanishad and analyzed the same brahma which started in the janmadhyadikaranam or in the earlier one also athato brahma jignasa that that same brahma is revealed in jyotir vakya as well as gayatri vakya this is the conclusion because of pratyavijnya it is the same one it is the same one yes it cannot be why due to linga brahma lingas which are there which have been discussed earlier 
दोज लिंगाज आर सीन और वॉट इज पादा चतुष्पादा ऑल्सो टेल्स यू चतुष्पादा हर्ड अबाउट पुरुषा अबाउट ब्रह्म अबाउट ईश्वरा नॉट विथ गायत्री नॉट विथ ज्योति ही लिटरली सो चतुष्पादा हर्ड इन गायत्री और चतुष्पादा हर्ड इन ज्योतिर्वाक्य दे विल गिव प्रत्यभिज्ञा टू दि लिसनर एज टू दिस इज द सेम ब्रह्म वाई नो दिस आई हर्ड दिस अर्लियर इन इन माई चाइल्डहुड आई हैव चैंटेड दिस एंड आई हैव बीन चैंटिंग सिंस ऑल अलॉन्ग बिकॉज आस्तिका हैज बीन चैंटिंग ऑल अलॉन्ग एट लीस्ट स्वशाखा देर ही हैज हर्ड दिस चतुष्पाद देर फोर प्रत्यभिज्ञा इज देर ऑफ द सेम ब्रह्म ननु पूर्व दिवी सप्तम्या ज्योर आधार निर्दिश्य दिव इति पंचम्या ज्यो हो अवधि तथा च विभक्ति भेदेन ध्यु संबंधा यत प्रत्यभिज्ञान उक्त तन्न आशंका सिंस आई मेन्शन प्रत्यभिज्ञा आई जस्ट फिनिश दिस इज अ शॉर्ट वन जस्ट विभक्ति डिस्कशन इज देर सो आई फिनिश दिस ऑल्सो सो ननु पूर्व दिवी दिवी इज अ सप्तमी मेन्शन ऐ मीन आई जस्ट फिनिश आई नॉट आई नॉट गो थ्रू दिस बिकॉज आई नीड टू गिव एन एक्सापल टू एक्सप्लेन दिस I'll I'll explain the the Sangati here. So So Divi and that is is also just basic meaning of Purva Paksha. Purva Paksha is saying Divi is a Saptami. Ju, Saptami, seventh case of that noun when it it is declined as a noun to be used in the sentence, then Divi will mean in Juloka. That is Saptami form. And Saptami is what Adhara. It is used for Adhara. Adhikarane Saptami. सो सप्तम्या ज्यो आधार निर्दिश्य सो वॉट इज सीन एज दिवी इन दि ज्यूलोका और दि ज्यूलोका इज एन आधार नॉट इन दि बट हियर दिवी अधिकरण सो ऑन ऑन दि सो यू कैन टेक ऑन मीनिंग देर ऑन बिकॉज अधिकरण इज ज्यूलोका सो ज्यो ज्यो आधार और इफ यू टेक यू नो दिवी इन दि दिवी ऑल्सो देन वॉट इज देर What is there is the adhara. Adhara, jo ho adhara twin, jo will become adhara. Adhikarana and adhikarana is adhara. So it will become the support, locus, and then support. The meaning is support. Adhara. Adhara twin is nirdishya te. So that is the teaching there. There is an adhara teaching there by Saptami usage. Divaha, however, what? Divo jyoti hi in that mantra. Divaha is the panchami. It can be shasti also, but the meaning is panchami there. So divaha iti panchamya jo ho avadhitve na. It is an avadhi of jyuloka. So avadhitve na there is an av avadhi is limitation limit. There is a you know, digyoga panchami. He is taking digyoga panchami divaha. The fifth case is divaha. Seventh case is divi. So one is showing adhara, the other is showing the avadhi. How do you equate these? How can there be pratyabhijna? Saptami will give you adhara. It can give you pratyabhijna of some adhara, and panchami can give you some pratyabhijna of avadi. How do you say av- that when you hear avadi, you have pratyabhijna of adhara, and when you hear av- av- adhara, you have pratyabhijna of avadi? That is not possible, says the Purva Pakshi. And literally, there is vivakti bheda. One is seventh case, the other is fifth case. Seventh case and fifth case are not interchangeable in Vyakarana. How can you interchange them? Sheshe Shasti may be sixth case. You can you know have some bandwidth there to loosely interpret or misinterpret. Says the Purva Pakshi. But seventh case is very clear. Fifth case is very clear. Karakas are not interchangeable there. Tatha cha vibhakti bhi dena jyu sammanda yat pratyabhijnanam uktam that pratyabhijna that you claim to be there of the same Brahma. then uh, that is not possible iti ashankya we'll see the response of as a sutra in the next part tomorrow we'll have a part because uh, prathama is over by by the time we start our class up. we will start start our part amna yante ka samsiddham adi madhyanta varjitam anand ghana mahapurnam atma jyoti rupasmahe sat namaste 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 namaste